Hello everyone, welcome to the class. Here we are going to talk about a special arrangement in C4 plant that is Krenz anatomy. This Krenz anatomy make these C4 plant more adaptable to the environment so that the photosynthesis can be run or we can say that photosynthesis will occur in more amount in these plants. So we'll see what is this Krenz anatomy. This is a cross section of a leaf. This if we are going to take a leaf and we are going to cut it in this way. And when we observe this cross section under the microscope, we'll observe these kind of cell arrangement. The outermost layer is the epidermis, upper epidermis and the lowermost is the lower epidermis. As we know the lower epidermis bear more stomata as compared to that of upper one. Fine. So below the epidermis we have the arrangement of parenchymatous cells which are termed as mesophyll cells. So these mesophyll cells are arranged in two ways. The one is the palisade, another one is the spongy one. So these mesophyll cells are present here you can see and we have discussed earlier also they contain chloroplast on the wall of the cells. Now in the C4 plant what special thing is this vascular bundle where the xylem phloem are present that vascular bundle they are surrounded by special type of cells called bundle sheath cells and when they are observed they seems to be that the vascular bundle are wrapped around it okay the cells are going to wrap the vascular bundle and giving a arrangement like wreath that is a circular arrangement the term crens means wreath and what is this wreath means the circular arrangement of these cells this kind of arrangement. So this is going to form a sheath. So that's why it is termed as bundle sheath cell. Vascular bundle ke upar ek sheath that is going to form a special anatomy, crens anatomy. Got it? So this bundle sheath cells, they have different type of chloroplast as compared to that of the mesophyll cells. So the C4 plant have two type of chloroplast and that is dimorphic. One is in which grana is present, granul chloroplast and in which grana is absent, a granul chloroplast. This is only stroma. Okay, no granum and this is that normal which we have read with the granum. Fine, so this granal one is present in mesophyll cells, granal chloroplast and bundle sheath cells they have a granal chloroplast due to which this particular property or this kind of arrangement of the cells allow no photorespiration. It means there is no grana to no light reaction going to take place and no oxygen will be produced. So these cells they don't have the oxygen and if there is no oxygen there will be no competition with CO2 to bind with that enzyme Rubisco. So there is no hindrance in the process of photosynthesis as it was there in the case of C3 plants. Okay, so in that way these plants are more adaptable, they are producing bo more biomass, their productivity is more as compared to that of C3 plants. Fine, so this Krenz anatomy have two special things. One is the presence of this bundle sheath cells which are going to wrap the vascular bundle and second thing that are the chloroplast, granule and agranule type. Thank you.